good afternoon to everybody so here we are going to discuss about the indexing and citation databases indexing actually is a new term but actually but practically not new term indexing actually do for easy retrieval means in everywhere we are doing the indexing if you consider the office environment their uh, all uh, staff records are indexed in the terms of filing why we are doing that as because uh, when we required anything about uh, any information about our staff that information can be find out very quickly so we are indexing in the term of if we consider the computer science background then there they are uh, uh, the indexing is also going on in the computer science all the key term are indexed in their database why <clears throat> as because to easy retrieval or quick retrieval for any information as because in if you consider the computer system ram actually ram they don't have the storage ram is actually only the pro, ram is the volatile memory and uh, hard disk we have the data on a hard disk and processor what they are doing processor is processing the information what we are putting through the keyboard and that information is going through the processor to the ram and ram is temporarily picking all the data from the hard disk on the ram and they process what they process actually what the information is stored that is indexed so if the if the if the information is indexed properly then it will be find out very quickly so this is the term indexing here we will discuss the indexing in term of the journal indexing not we are not going to discuss the the uh, indexing term in the library science there is also index indexing term and uh, <clears throat> the computer science also here we are looking the indexing of journal and the citation database citation database from the citation database we will discuss web of science and scopus since a web of science is accessible in the vishwabharati we will give the emphasis on the web of science and we will have a very short uh, information on the scopus as because we don't have the scope to access that is scopus actually vishwabharati don't have the access of scopus so <clears throat> so here we will discuss what is index as because indexing is generated from the index what is the purpose of index their definition indexing process the journal indexing why journal indexing is important as because this for research scholar it is very much important that uh, why journal is indexed and why it is required because you you will write a paper so you may thought that uh, where this research paper should publish so for that uh, we need to evaluate which journal is best that journal is where listed in which database that is listed and uh, according to the listing of their listing in the databases the recognition of journal depend okay so what is index journal we will also discuss here top indexing for journals how to know the indexing of journal what is good indexing for journal difference between index and non index journal we will also look after <clears throat> how to choose the right journal for publication as i told it, this this segment will be the very important for you also as because uh, through this uh, we can evaluate where we will send our research paper in which journal we will send what are the criteria for selection of journal check the peer review policy and the open access type review timeline the rejection ratio so then next to the citation citation databases in scopus and web of science so <clears throat> here we can start with the index the term actually index is uh, 
derived from the Latin word indicare, indicare, which means indicate. As I told you that the indexing is basically for the retrieval process only. Retrieval means what? If you, if you unable to indicate the, any specific information, then you will be unable to find out the resources. So the term totally indicate the, their meaning. The index means the indicate. Indicate for the indication of any particular or any specific information, what you are looking for. So index actually that. Index is systematic guide to item contained in a document or the concept derived from. Item denote the same, uh, sorry, the name of the author, title, et cetera. Concept may be like classification cataloging. As I told you that the index <clears throat> here in the literary world, what the index means. Index of any, any publication. Publication will what contain, the, maybe the title name, title of the publication may be the author will be there, the publisher will be there, all the metadata information may be the, may be the item of the any particular information. And that should be the index in any, in any journal or any databases. That is the index. What is the purpose of index? The purpose of index is to locate and retrieve the needed item or the concept in a collection. As I told you, that the purpose of index is basically the only the retrieval purpose, only the retrieval. But but some extent later on it will be a qualitative aspect also. It has the qualitative aspect as because this this indexing will later will uh, we, we will discuss the indexing of journal means the journal is where listed in which databases they have listed. It's a, it's a depend upon their various aspects. All the database, all the databases will not include all the journals. They have their policy. On, on that policy, they will include. Means if, if any institution is running any journal and they are not following the any practice, practice of publication, standard practice of publication, then that journal may not be considered there for the inclusion in any standard databases. They have their guideline, what, what the criteria will be there in the, any journal publication. Their review policy, their editorial board will be there, what the process of reviewing they are following, what are the uh, their time, timeline they are following for the any, accept, any acceptance of paper, or any rejection of paper. So a lot of thing is depend upon the, uh, the select, uh, selection criteria of any journal in, for the indexing. It has the two part, the descriptive part and the location part. Descriptive part will give you the item idea or the concept basically is the descriptive part. And the location part, it gives the location where the item or the concept has been discussed or is available. Their definition according to the British standard 3700 1994, uh, sorry, 1954 defines the index as a systematic guide to the location of word, concept, or other item in book, periodical or other publication. An index consists of series of entries appearing not in the in the order in which they appear in the publication, but in some other order, may be chosen to enable the user to find them quickly, together with to show where each item is located. Means uh, they have their sequence of information, but according to that sequence, the, the, uh, the indexing may not be done. They have the, the, uh, their different criteria. They have their different set of order, means uh, they will, uh, if you have the, uh, any information like the publication, title of the, uh, any journal, then maybe the author, then maybe the publisher, then place. But according to that hierarchy, the, that, that, that database may not practice. They may use the author, maybe the first item. Maybe they are using the publisher as a first item, but they will index all the content, all the information to find out the information very quickly. So what does indexing means? 
if you have a clear concept about the index, then actually indexing is a process. Means the index, index is the to locate the any specific information. And for locating that specific information, the act which you, you are doing, that is the indexing. The action or process of compiling an index is an indexing. In general, indexing refers to the organization of data according to a specific schema or the plan. Means any indexing system has the di different type of schema or they have the different type of plan. What the what on the on the basis of that plan they will index the information. If they find any redundant information is there, that that item may not be indexed. So they have the different different schema or the plan. According to that, they are indexing. The prestige of journal is considered by how many abstracting and indexing services cover that journal. As I told you earlier, that the indexing of journal actually depends upon the that journal is listed where, in which databases. If any journal is listed in the Scopus database, that, that means that journal is very high quality journal. You should send paper there for the publication. If any journal is listed in the AppSco database, then you should think about that. The AppSco database is also, also very high standard database. So according to the database, in which database that journal is indexed, they have their the qualification of that journals means if if that journal maybe that journal maybe a single journal may be indexed in the several indexing databases if that cases is happen that journal may be a, a very good also as because that journal is indexed multiple times multiple in databases so it has been observed in last few years that authors have started searching for index journal to publish their article. For research scholar, in a, uh, at the very beginning, it will be very uh, tough to select the journals. If you have, if you write any paper, and then uh, definitely uh, the thought will come: where I will send this paper? In which journal I will send? So by listing, by listing of this journal, means indexing through the indexing databases, you will find out, you will be able to find out that the, the which journal will be the best for your research paper. So why journal indexing is important? We know there are thousands of international journals that exist in the world according to the ISSN data. ISSN is actually the Indian standard serial number. This is the, as like the book, we have the ISBN number. The same case, in the case of journal, there is a ISSN number. Earlier, the ISSN is the only the standard, standard uh, uh, you can say the parameter of the any journal. If if any journal have the ISSN, that means that journal is very good. Most of the journal in the early days, they don't have the ISSN. Even many publishers don't know about the ISSN. But nowadays it is very, very much common. The ISSN is the must. But besides the ISSN, the, the indexing is also important. Where the, that journal is indexed is important. So according to the ISSN, the ISSN network has assigned more than 2.5 million ISSN so far. And every year they, they are assigning 50,000 to 70,000 ISSN every year. So you, you see, it will be very hectic to identify which journal will be the best for your publication. Nearly 130,000 corrections are mod and modifications are made every year. And apart from the 130,000, maybe the 30,000 or the 40,000 journal may be the uh, discontinued or the absolute as because they don't have, uh, they don't practicing is a standard practice. 
so the number of journal required to both pub, to publish the journal also become very high as a researcher it will be very difficult to find the right journal for your research paper this major issue faced by the researcher is now a become becoming easier with the journal indexing platform if you will be aware to journal indexing the which database are providing the journal indexing system you will be easily identify your journal is indexed or not the paper you are sending where the the paper you are sending in a, any specific journal that journal should be the evaluated from your side this journal is suitable for your research paper or not so by this journal indexing it you can evaluate or you can judge this that journal is uh, important or not then index journal the index journal are better in quality and have placed at higher rank in term of quality of journal publication scientific journal which are indexed are considered to be good journal rather than non index journal even this is uh, not in the case of only the scientific now it is a very general concept if any journal is not indexed anywhere that journal may be not considered as a good journal every the every publisher of the any journal is always looking for the indexing indexing of their journal in any databases even in india you know the ugc has also created a list of journals through the ugc care list we should publish our research paper there even they have the different criteria of promotions of teacher even also the uh, that uh, they should publish even the ugc care journal if not then that paper will not be considered for their promotion <coughs> so authority is also imposing to publish your research paper in a very quality journal not in a non quality journal not index journal as because the not index journal why they still reside in the not index as because they are not following any standard practice maybe they are not have maybe they don't have any standard editorial committee one man committee will be there and they are evaluating all the all the papers and they are taking money also and they are accepting the papers maybe a lot of thing may be there so <clears throat> so what are the top indexing for journals so these are the top indexing indexing databases for journals the first one is the scopus as i told you scopus is very uh, highly uh, uh, means uh, the quality uh, databases then the web of science also DOAJ Directory of Open Access Journal, the PubMed, CNKI, Chemical Abstract Service, the IFI Factor means International Journal Impact Factor, Sai Mago, Portico, UGC Care List for India, ProQuest, EBSCO, Garuda Indexing for Indonesia, React. google scholar and hack journals for pakistan so <clears throat> these are the indexing they are doing the indexing for journals so how to know the index some of this list we will discuss i will show you in the practical also how to find out any journals so uh, not we cannot consider all but some of the important we will choose and discuss the next is the how to know the indexing of a journal all the above journal indexing databases have an online platform the indexing databases select the journal and list them in their <coughs> portal after verifying them you can search a particular journal by its name or isn from the list of journal available with the indexing platform most journal now have a dedicated page for indexing information 
you can check the page for indexing available for that particular journal and do not forget to cross check it means uh, if you are sending any any paper to any journal then you should go to their parent website their mother website the, they they, uh, they definitely have their journal website so you go to their website and you check their credential whether that journal is uh, or uh, uh, that journal has the standard editorial committee or not what are the their review process is there that journal is indexed or not some of the uh, journal they are mentioning the uh, it about the indexing system on their website also but that information may not be correct most of the journal most of you cannot say most some of the some journals also giving the fake information that journal may not be indexed in any databases but they are mentioning the uh, uh, indexing information on their website so for that cases what you have to do you have to cross check means if any journal website is mentioning that this journal has been indexed in the absco databases you go to the absco website and you cross check whether that journal is indexed or not maybe maybe that journal indexed earlier actually yearly they are indexing and they are uh, evaluating maybe at the time when they have accepted the uh, that journal for the uh, indexing at that time they are following the standard practice okay that time they have accepted but later on they are not following that practice that journal may be discontinued but they have mentioned still there that that that, that this journal is indexed in their databases for that cases you need to cross check if that if, if that journal has been discontinued that you will find the information this journal has been discontinued from the absco databases since this date so you can evaluate that now this is not indexed so for that you have to cross check difference between index and non index journal the difference between index and non index journal are the no index journal are considered to be less in quality and do not maintain publication ethics but in the past few days popular index index like scopus web of science ugc care have removed hundred of journal found that found unethical publication practices as i told you that some of the some of the publisher are not following the standard practice maybe some publisher are taking money in the name of apc article processing charge <clears throat> maybe taking money as a uh, server maintenance fee that they are maintaining the website of the journal so they have the recurring cost to maintain that journal website so in the name of different different thing they will take the money but ugc is consider that journal as a predatory journal later on you have the class on this predatory journals so you will be get more on that so if journal is indexed then the their quality will be high and uh, if not indexed in any specific databases then their quality will be considered as a low so if journal is considered as a high and low according to their indexing system then how to choose the right journal for your publication so as a com as a com competition in is increasing day by day finding a good journal also become very difficult is because nowadays you know the publication is a no investment business is there and because if you consider publisher publishing any book or the any journal they don't have the any intellectual output they are taking research paper from you okay and they are publishing journals 
and in fact uh, they are sending or they are selling that journal or the research paper even to you also even to your institution so publication is a very good business nowadays that because it is zero investing business so writing a research paper and publishing in a right journal is also very difficult task sometime the author get a rejection message after writing the paper after putting in so much effort so how to overcome this situation as a author this difficulty will be reduced if you choose the right journal and you will understand the journal publication life cycle and the procedure if you will be understand these things then you will you will be able to send your research paper in a very right place so unfortunately our universities and education system do not teach you teach us how to publish a research paper how to find a good journal <laughs> as a early researcher the task become very difficult to search a journal and write a research paper according to that so after checking the aim of the scope of the journal if your paper is suitable for the journal then you need to check some other important parameter as we will discuss in the other slide also <clears throat> so the for sending before sending any research paper you evaluate that journals on the different parameter like the indexing where it has been indexed what are the life cycle of that journal what are the acceptance timeline is there for any research paper what are the rejection ratio rejection time is they are taking is because suppose if you send any research paper to any journal and it will take about one year and after one year if they will send you the rejection letter so your uh, your research paper is not considered uh, for publication then if rejection time if any journal is taking too much then it will be very difficult to you to select the another journal so different parameter need to be judged before sending any research paper what are the criteria for selection of journals <coughs> reputed indexing agency for journals like wise scopus as we see in the earlier slide web of science doaj pubmed igi factor indexing epsco mbes ugc care etc the qualitative measures of the journals like h index of that journal i index impact factor global journal ranking article influence score etc these are the qualitative measures of any journals means according to that qualitative measures you can judge whether that this journal is suitable for your paper or not whether that journal is a standard journal or not if that journal has a very very high h index then definitely that journal is good if that journal is indexed in any epsco database or any any standard database like scopus web of science then we can consider that journal is very good journal we can send there <coughs> their peer review policy also need to be checked most of the journal follow the peer review as blind peer review or double blind peer review policy blind peer review means in very short general term the reviewer is not able to identify the creator of the research paper the publisher they actually managing the coding system 
they will remove the author affiliation or author information of any research paper and then send to the reviewer the blind review double blind review means that means two times that paper will be reviewed blindly mean without the information about the author so here the biasness will be zero if the paper has the author affiliation or the author information with the paper then the reviewer may have the biasness if reviewer has the known known author means from their circle oh this paper is from we have received from there any known person then they will there is a high chance to accept without even the review so review policy is also very much important out of all these double blind review policy is considered to be good in the academic publications here the reviewer and the author identify do not disclose to either as i told you the the reviewer is not able to identify the 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 creator of the research paper or the author of the research paper the simultaneously author author is also not aware about the who is reviewing re reviewing the, their paper so both are blind in the case of blind review so you cannot you can choose a journal that follow the double blind peer review process to review the paper so this this indicator may be the good for the any uh, for uh, for a good journal so we can consider as a good journal who are following the the blind peer review or the double blind peer review process some journal follow the gold open access and some journal follow diamond open access that will be discussed in the another class the open access and the, all the different channels about the open access as per your requirement you choose either of the journals <laughs> means the accessibility of any research paper is also very much important if you have write if you write any research paper and you thought to send that research paper to a journal which is not the open access journal open access means you are you understand na open is the term indicate open access that means free access actually the the affiliation or the recognition of any author depend upon the their paper how much their paper is cited getting citation if any author writes a several paper means that means 20 paper but that 20 paper did not get any single citation means that author is not very much recognized their work is also very much not recognized by the researcher by the academician but a researcher or the academician write one paper and got the 20 citation or the maximum citation you can say means the increasing order of citation that means uh, the author recognition depend upon the citation the citation depends upon the accessibility if your paper is in closed access journal that means uh, for reading that your for reading your research paper one need to subscribe that journal then access is restricted with the subscription if your research paper is in open access journal anybody can read if the access is wider then a wide range of population may will read your research paper so there is a high chance to citation high, uh, high chance to get the maximum citation if your paper is not reading any anybody then how they will cite so access access is also an important measure to identify the journal nowadays the open access trend is going uh, very increasing everybody is uh, looking for a open access journal that's because the, the accessibility will be high you will get them more citation there
रिव्यू टाइम में हाँ या As I told you, just now, in closed access, in closed access, your paper will be restricted. Closed access means the journal who uh, uh, who will uh, who will provide access with the subscription. All the user, all the research scholar, or we can um, say all the faculty member will not subscribe that journal. But if that journal or oh, your research paper is published in any open access journal. Now it is high time to access, high chance to access all that research paper to everybody, as because there is no restriction of access. No, 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 no need to subscribe. No need to subscribe. But before publication, you need to check whether that journal is open access or not. How you will check whether that journal is open access or not? you need to check their issue any issue okay you you uh, you just uh, try to get the full text of article if they will provide full text article then that is uh, access maybe if you are accessing within the campus that journal may subscribe by the institution then they will get the access but you better you check from the outside the campus by using your own network if journal if that in that case if you are if you are able to download the article full text then that means that journal is open access research gate journal actually this research gate is not the publisher not the publisher that is not 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 the research gate is like the we are using the uh, <clears throat> this is the academic academic social networking platform okay where there we are sharing our research we can share our uh, our research full text there in the research gate if you want to read any research paper from what we have shared you send a request to me that your request will come i will allow then you will be access like that but the research gate is not the publisher clear clear or not you need to check the timeline of review process and the rejection ratio of the journal if you have in in between the lecture if you have any confusion then you please ask so that the lecture may be the interactive if you have any doubt you may ask up to now yes 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 uh -huh. what affected yeah. what affected we are sharing our research paper we are sharing our academic uh, output you can share your research project there you can share your research paper there you can share your slide even also okay the other faculty member or other academician can get access what on which even ongoing research paper or ongoing research project you can also share on the research paper okay so that other 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 faculty member or other academician will be aware about that oh on this topic he is working so the duplicacy of work may be avoided yes uh, but it is close access close access in open access then we uh, require lots of money so in open access so no no not required actually i want to say that uh, if uh, lots of uh, on a journal or else mm -hmm. so, actually when uh, you publish for the first column or the other money you that will be the violation of copyright at one way you are sending that paper to the close access and another way you are sharing your full text paper to everybody maybe pre print you can share pre print means the 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 copy of your research paper just before the 
final publishing. Okay, that paper you can share, but after publication you cannot share. Preprint कोनो violation होए ना. Preprint maybe they are, they are final they will do the final editing. Maybe they will do the final editing. Any any addition will be there. Preprint you can share. So you need you need to you need to check the timeline to review process and the rejection ratio of a journal. A good journal takes around 30 to 90 days for review and complete the pre-publication stage. If they are taking too much time, then you may think about that. Some journal also take less time. At the same time, some journal also take a large time for the review process. Depending upon or on your requirement, you need to choose the journal. Depending upon your requirement, if you have the less time, then you send according to that. And if you have the sufficient time, some journal, some good journal also taking large time. So what the time actually you have, according to that you send properly. The rejection ratio, if the rejection ratio is high, it means your paper has less chance to get selected. But at the same time, the journal having a high rejection ratio are considered a good, good journal. Why they are rejecting? It's because they are not accepting all the things. They have their criteria. According to that criteria, all the journals, all the research paper are not getting fit, fitted. So they are rejecting. So you, you will be inspired to write a very good uh, research paper. So if you have a research paper in very good quality, then you will be able to send there. So if the rejection ratio is high, that, that does not mean that journal is not good. That journal is good as because they are they are only accepting the good research paper. They are not compromising with the quality. Yes, they are strictly following their guideline, so they are rejecting. Reach of the journal. Reach of the journals means the accessibility. Their distribution of the research, uh, journals. The ultimate, ultimate aim of our publication is to reach a large researcher, large researcher doing on the research on the same domain. So the journal having a wider range of global audience will definitely add impact on your research paper. If there is an, any local journal, their accessibility is localized. Their uh, accessibility is also very restricted. If you send that uh, your paper in a very localized journals, then your paper will be restricted to a very few limited persons, very few limited academicians, very few researchers. Then there is a less chance to get the citation. And if you have the less citation, then the paper will be affected as because author recognition depend upon the citation. So the, for, the, <clears throat> for getting the higher citation, the accessibility should be the higher. Check the journal for their wider distribution, wide distribution. So these are the selection criteria for journals. This is about the indexing. <clears throat> so this will 
how how this will be help helping to any research scholar i think that will be clear to you the next is the what is the citation up to now you have any confusion sir yes we are from agriculture background, so we are calling mass rating. Mass rating. Mass rating. So, sir, uh, is impact factor and mass rating, how will be this uh, equivalent? Because in some websites, we are watching that uh, mass rating is equal to six means impact factor starts from there. So, actually, all the all the publishers following different criteria for their evaluating the journal. Agriculture using the different set of pattern. They are using the mass pattern. Or something like that. Maybe some other journal following other pattern. Okay, but impact factor or the other thing what we have discussed that should be the criteria for evaluating any journal in a overall. If any agriculture any any agricultural journals, NAS rating is high or the uh, very good number uh, good uh, NAS rating. That means the the journal is good. But you should also uh, evaluate the other criteria also, what we have discussed. The citation, what is citation? <clears throat> citation is the term, it also indicate their meaning, citation. Anybody tell what is citation? Citation, yeah, huh? yeah, please. Just to noting in the work or uh, some, something of others and giving credit in our work that is called citation sir yeah yeah bilkul, bilkul. all right citation in a very simple term cite it derived from the site site means refer <clears throat> refer any any intellectual output any research output which has been done earlier the process is citation. A citation is a way you tell your readers that certain material in your work come from the another sources. It also gives your reader the information necessary to find that source again. That means you have taken certain part of text from any previously work and you have put the citation. What does it mean? If any, any reader or any research scholar want to read further that source, so through that citation or through that reference, he will get the actual document and he will be able to reach that document for the further reading. <laughs> It also include information about the author, the title of work, the name and location of the company that published your copy of the source, the date of your copy was published, the page number of the material you are borrowing, and another thing also they are taking in a citation. Actually, they have the site different citation style more than 10,000 citation styles are there and different citation style following the different types of different sets of information. So why should we cite sources? <coughs> this should be very much clear about that. Actually, why? This is why the, this uh, module has been introduced. The research publication ethics, which we are going, the classes here, research publication ethics. All the things has been come from that. Why should we cite sources? If you don't cite, then it will be the unethical. So we are taking class in a, for the ethical. So giving credit to the original author by citing source 
is the only way to use other people work without plagiarizing you have the another class different class on the plagiarism so you will be get much more details on that but there are a number of other reason to cite sources other regions there is other regions also so citations are extremely helpful to any anyone who want to find out more about your idea and where they come from as i told you if anybody want to read further further about your uh, the sources what you have quoted in your research paper then it will be very uh, important if you don't cite then uh, anybody cannot get from where you have taken the other information may be there also not all sources are good or right your own idea may often be more accurate or interesting than those of your sources proper citation will keep you from taking the taking the rap of someone else bad ideas there are different <coughs> citations methods even also so proper citations should be given nowadays the the journals they clearly mention in text citation if you are writing research paper in between the text you should give the citation it should not be like that you have completed you completed your research work and uh, you have only mentioned the reference there may be high chance to mention your the bogus reference there which you don't have referred actually but that should be you mention in your re reference but if you put the proper citation that means in text citation you cannot pr provide the bogus reference as because you are giving the in text citation this part i have taken from that source and that source should be mentioned in the reference section but in the case of only mentioning the references you are not mentioning anywhere in between the text you just put the reference that should not be like that citing sources so the amount of research you have done how much effort you have given to uh, any research work or any any work it's also depend upon or you can uh, uh, evaluate through the references or the citations for compiling any research paper if you are going through a hundred of research papers that means what you have given effort a lot it is not easy to go through the hundred papers or in the case of thesis is maybe much more 500 1000 3000 sources may be referred there so citing sources is strengthen your work even <laughs> the reviewer it will also uh, create an impact on the reviewer or reviewer also that how much uh, effort you have given to that paper or, or or that research work citing sources is strengthen your work by lending outside support to your ideas <clears throat> it indicate that means uh, if you are referring much more material that means you are taking much more idea from outside for compiling that that research paper you have given much more effort it will create an impact on the research, uh, uh, the re reviewer when do we need to cite
Up to that, any confusion or any question? When do we need to cite? Whenever you borrow word or idea, you need to acknowledge their sources. The following situations almost always require citation. Even some, some person may not give you the intellectual input. Someone has helped you in another way. That should also be acknowledged. Okay, maybe helping in an, another way. All type of assistance may be acknowledged for preparing any research work or any research thesis. Whenever you use quotation, you need to provide a citation. Whenever you use paraphrase, paraphrase you understand? Huh? Yeah. The actually changing the language. Changing the language. Writing sentence. Yes, yeah, changing the language. Changing the language. The formation of the sentence. Maybe the thought thought content may be the same, but the way of talking may be different. That is the paraphrasing. Nowadays, a lot of paraphrasing tool is there that you should know about that. That will help you in the research work. <clears throat> Whenever you use an idea that someone else has already expressed, even that has not been mentioned in any written format, but that idea had, has been derived from anyone's mind or from you got that idea from someone that should also acknowledge. Whenever you make a specific reference to the work of another, this is very much common. We are generally we are doing, but sometime not doing also. Why not doing? Maybe reviewer or maybe the other person may thought this is my work. This is solely my work. But that will create the negative impact on that. As because nowadays, you, you know, the plagiarism software is also there. If that content will be dropped in the any plagiarism software that will identify which concept you have taken from where. So avoiding better to mention the reference or give the actual citation, proper citation. So always give the citation. Don't miss to provide the citation. This is very much common practice. Even earlier, that the, the idea <clears throat> from the other author or from the other sources will be taken, but without acknowledging or without giving the citation. As because the reviewer or the other person may thought, this is my work. So not even now, but even in future, all things will be detected. Nowadays we can even detect through this software even. As we can nowadays, uh, the, uh, the scenario has been changed. Not only the digital media we are, media we are dealing. All the literature is available in the electronic format. If the literature is only available in the print media or the print format, then it will be difficult to find out the plagiarism. And because for getting or for checking the plagiarism, that content should be in the electronic format. But now the 
different agencies are doing the digitization work of the old literature. So someone in early days, someone if have get the plagiarism, then nowadays it will be detected. <coughs> so avoid that act of plagiarism. Whenever someone else work has been critically in developing your own idea. As I told you that any, any idea may be critical or, or your, uh, related to your work, that should be acknowledged. All the things should be acknowledged irrespective of <coughs> the content. For writing your research paper during that time, if your pun has been provided, uh, given your uh, help, you should also acknowledge. For compiling this research paper, this person has also helped me. That's because he has provided tea during writing my research paper for refreshing my mind. He has also helped, but in, in the other way. You should also acknowledge that. Now the citation database. Citation database can be used for cited reference searches. How we will identify the citation of any research paper or citation of any researcher or any author, <clears throat> there should be a database. That is the citation database. It enable you to find or check and track citation data year by year, navigating forward and backward through the literature related to a topic. Means <clears throat> on that database, if you, if you find any research paper has been cited, if you click on the cited, it will tell you who has cited your paper. And you can also move forward, move, move backward. That paper, again, if anyone cited, then it is a link, link of the citation. Through that software, you can analyze the citations as they are providing by year by year. And they have that different sets of information there. You can make a different analytical study from their uh, citation databases. Even this databases helps to identify the ranking of the university. It's because university has also the faculty member, research scholars, all together they are having the citations. So these are helping in that, evaluating the university ranking or generating the uh, university ranking. What are the purpose of citation databases? You can use a citation database to distinguish between authors with the same name or the author's name that has been presented in different ways. Analyze search result to show the number of documents broken down by various criteria, including year, author, sources, affiliation, or subject categories. That's because they have different sets of data. Through that sets of data, you can make an analysis on that. You can make an analytical growth pattern of the sub, uh, uh, subject in respect to the citation, which subject got the citation, how much, and make a an comparative analysis. A lot of analysis can be done through that data sets. Search within result by adding additional term to the initial search. Identify highly cited work related to a particular topic, which, which uh, in, a, in a particular topic, which journal is highly cited. 
which research paper is highly cited you can find out who is the maximum uh, who has the maximum citation in a particular subject through this citation you can evaluate even many more institution is getting selection through this citation they are doing the author author analysis they have a panel of the candidate okay the higher post in the case of higher post like the director vice chancellor they have number of candidate and they give an assignment to the author analysis according to the citations who has the maximum citations among them definitely who has the the person who got the maximum citation will be the highly recognized person in their field so this may be the selection criteria also if you are working on a particular topic which research paper will be the best you can also judge which paper i should read <coughs> according to citations you will find out or oh, this pa this paper will be the best for me find a related work that share reference or author <laughs> it it will also give you the the list of related works also this database will also provide if you are working on a if you are working on a uh, suppose analytical chemistry it will also provide you the clinical chemistry or the medicinal chemistry or the other branches of chemistry also the similar subject will also they will provide create search alert to keep update with the development in your discipline this software will also provide you the system of alertness if you choose a, if you have chosen any particular subject then if uh, on that subject any new citation will be added then alert will be sent to your mail then you will be find if you have any research paper on that index databases or that journals or in that databases then you may set alert also if you get any citation you will get alert likewise in the google scholar they have the alert system also you can create a google scholar profile and you will list all your published research paper if any citation you will get or any citation will add in your profile google scholar sent you an alert who has cited your research paper so through this you will be also an updated generate a profile that present an analysis and citation summary of your work published by an institution or author or index including h index compare the performance of journal in a particular subject area likewise we have as i as i discussed we can compare the author you can also compare the journal you can also compare the institution so that the ranking is going on the comparison is basically they are comparing who got the maximum is the getting the maximum rank higher rank so this type of compare should be done through the, these databases so what are the citation databases scopus web of science mb mcare medline proquest pubmed a lot of databases is there i have listed very few you have any question any question so these are the citation databases if you search if you go through these databases they will provide the citation citation of any author citation of any any research paper citation of any institution 
they will provide. The Scopus contents record from 1969, including science, mathematics, engineering, technology, health, and medical, social sciences, arts, and humanities also. Web of Science databases content record from the 1900, including science, social science, and arts and humanities. MB, MBase biological and pharmacological database produced by Algebier, containing more than 30 million records, including articles from more than 8,500 journals published worldwide. <coughs> MCARE is a nursing and allied health databases. It contains more than 5 million records dating from 1995 from international journals and books. Over 100, 1,800 of which are not available from the nursing database also. They have included. Medline is also a database of medical related, database covering the international literature on biomedicine, including the allied health field and the biological and physical sciences, humanities and information science as they relate to medicine and healthcare. ProQuest, the ProQuest Health and Medicine Database provides information from journal articles, books, video, and digitations relevant to nursing, allied health, and health administration professionals. ProQuest is also a very important database. We have the access on ProQuest. PubMed database comprises over 26, 26 million citations for biomedical literature from MedLife. <laughs> so as we don't have all the uh, the database accessibility, so we cannot go in detail all databases. We have only access of Web of Science, even not the Scopus. It is very highly costly database, and. Uh, Web of Science is also costly, but we are not subscribing individually. The UGC is providing uh, Web of Science to all the in, uh, institutions on behalf of the university. So we will discuss in detail the Web of Science only. <clears throat> so we have a little information on the Scopus. The Scopus database content record from the 1969, including science, mathematics, engineering, technology, health, and medicine, social science, arts, and humanities. It covers more than 22,000 peer-reviewed journals, including 3,800 open access articles, 280 trade publications, article in press. Article in press means the article which has been not published, but that has been accepted that they also include from more than 8,000 publishers, more than 1.5 lakh books from the science, technology, and medicine since 2005, and arts and humanities since 2003, 8 million conference paper from 1 lakh conferences, and 39 million patents also they are covering in the Scopus. Next is Web of Science, a rich collection of citation indexes representing the citations connections between scholarly research article found in the most globally significant journals, books, and proceedings in the social science, science, arts, and humanities. Their coverage contents more than since, since 1900, including science, social science, arts, and humanities, it includes more than 20,000 peer-reviewed journals. It also includes more than 94,000 scholarly books from 2005 onward, 10 million conference papers. Its coverage includes life science, Biomedical science, engineering, 
social sciences arts and humanities its strongest coverage of the natural science health science engineering computer science and material science web of science as i told you it's accessible in the vishwa bharti so this database can be accessed within the campus through the mhrd wifi or the what the wifi you are using in, the, in your department or through the campus connect if you are using them or the railtel also some department is using so through that you can access this web of science and even you can also access uh, from home also that we are providing the remote access through remote access you can also access from your home it is the world most trusted publisher independent global citation database the coverage include as i told you the science means sci science citation index the social science that is social science citation index arts and humanities that is arts and humanities science in citation index conference proceedings that is conference proceeding citation index books that is book citation index and the index chemicals they are using this citation index web of science core collection is a premier resource and world most trusted citation for scientific and scholarly researches it is curated col collection of more than 2100 peer reviewed high quality scholarly journal published worldwide including open access journal in over 250 sciences social sciences and humanities discipline conferences proceedings and book data are also available if any journal is included in these databases no doubt that they are uh, their standard or their quality about that the scope as the web of science the pubmed if any journal is indexed there then you can send your research paper blindly there what makes web of science core collection unique all the journals that web of science select for inclusion in collections are indexed cover to cover some of the indexing databases are not covering index to uh, cover to cover but they are co indexing cover to cover for each paper web of science acquire or capture all the authors means if any any paper have the uh, 10 author or the 15 author if you if you see the web of science you will be able to find the uh, the number of author in a article right now maybe you are aware about the three author or four author but they are if you search that these databases you will find the 10 author is also 12 author is also so all the author are indexed the abstract and keyword provided by the author is also indexed funding acknowledgement also <clears throat> including agency and grant number all the cited reference means if any research project has been granted to any faculty member and based on that they have published a research paper they will include that including the uh, the granting agency also even the granting number of the agency is also they are providing so you can consider how in depth they are doing the indexing when possible we also add the following metadata for our index paper the author impact factor it calculate the scientific or academic value to a given academic or author the impact factor one can try h index or compilation of cited reference from web of science to gauge the index <clears> to <throat> this web of science you can find out the h index of any author and you can say their credibility about that the how how recognized that author is you can find the h index from there <clears throat> 
एच इंडेक्स क्वालिफाइड द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ एन ऑथर इफ द ऑथर हैज मच हायर साइटेशन द एच इंडेक्स विल बी हाई इफ एच एच इंडेक्स विल बी हाउ हाई देन द ऑथर विल बी गेटिंग मच मोर क्वालिफाइड तो दीज आर द मेट्रिक्स फॉर दियर इवेल्युएशन it is based on the author's most cited paper and the number of citation he or she received from the other articles later on in the different class you have a discussion on the h index i index or the different different matrix about that so i am not going on detail but this information can be fetched from the web of science the cited reference you can also get the cited references display all the citing articles even if they have not been indexed in web of science they will show. they will show in other words cited reference make it possible to find other document that are related by topic or subject to the original document they will give you the related article information also so you have such any specific article then they will provide these is these are the related all article also if you if you have or if you have any requirement you may also see this related articles so they have the cross referencing or referencing systems in the web of science so how to search in the web of science later I, in the different class i will show the practical okay so so here we will discuss how to search in the web of science you may search the record from indexes as i told you the the function of index is only the retrieval of document or retrieval of any information so you may search the any information from the index all successful searches are added to the search history table if you have your account in the web of science what the searches you are performing in the web of science that search history will be saved later on you can also by logging in your uh, web of science account you will be able to see what i have searched earlier you will be able to find out or sometimes <clears throat> you can also get a uh, information uh, by search history that uh, uh, if you have search uh, the same search history now and you have find out the more, uh, suppose you have uh, got the 500 result okay suppose you have search the anupam khair what he has published in web of science today you have search you will find the 500 research paper he has published till now and after 6 months you perform the same search query for the anupam khair you maybe you will be find you will be able to find 700 records <laughs> what is the use of search history you have got the development of records during this period what 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 the other new thing has been added in this 6 month you will be find from that one can use up to 6000 term in a search query the product use an imp implicit and operator when one enter two or more adjacent term in the most field for example entering rainbow trout fish farm in a topic or title search is equivalent to entering a rainbow and this is i have given an example actually this is telling you that you can also perform the the truncation or the operator and or not for the advanced searching you can also use so 
these are the process of searching when you go to the time span or more setting section of the search page if anyone need to change the search setting as i told you if if your search result has been saved search history you can also customize later on if you forget that search query then they will get from that search history and you can customize also you can later edit also that search string enter the search term in one or more of search field click the add another field link to add more search field to the search pages that means they have the different layer of searching techniques if you need to add you can add according to your requirements it will be an advanced search okay this is actually they you can add the another layer in your search term if you are, are looking if you are looking any result you put a search query suppose you want to filter by the by the location you should add a geographical location there that you are searching this person from the india only so you can add another layer even you can also add the timeline also that you are searching a specific information since 2000 10 onward so by this you can add the layer different layer in their searching techniques click search to go to the result <clears throat> select the record to review and then click the title link to go to the full record page for selected records actually this is the process steps i have given what are the search fields what field you can put there the topic of your title you can put you can put the author name there author identifiers they are also providing the identifier so you can also put the author identifier author identifier group author the editor of any book or any any conference proceedings the publication name you can also put in the search term the doi also you can search from there if you know the uh, doi of any uh, any article you can directly search through that the published year also the address also you can search so here i have given a uh, brief information about how to create an alert so web of science notify you by email as i told you google scholar also providing the same thing the other indexing databases may also providing but i cannot assure you because we don't have a scope to access full text that scopus whether they are providing or not i don't know or we cannot i cannot show you as because we don't have access to the scopus but i can show you the science uh, sorry web of science or the google scholar i we can also see so web of science notify you by email whenever a document has been cited in a new article the alert is active for one year one year and email will be sent approximately 2 week before the alert expire to remind one to review renew the alert to create an alert one must be a registered user and he or she must sign into the web of science and this registration is free of cost anybody can re register there so this is i have given the different step for creating an alert sign into web of science first step you need to sign you need to create an account first then you sign in in, in web of science then run the search from the search or the advanced search page to find record or to create a citation alert the next stage will be the from the result page select a title of record to go to the full record 
you create you select an a specific a specific document then you will be able to create an alert click the create citation alert link to open the create citation alert overlay dialog an email will be appear in the email address field select an email format in which format you want to receive the mail whether it is plain text mail html or in ind note or field tag field tag they have the different email format you need to choose any one click the create citation alert link to create the citation alert for current report click to close the button after selecting that select save searches and alert from my tool menu to go to the save search and alert page select the citation alert tab to view the article for which the citation has been created citation alert has been created in this way you can create the cit citation alert from the web of science <clears throat> so this is all about the theoretical part of the indexing and citation databases including the web of science theoretical if you have any questions from the offline student and also from the online student please feel free to ask sir yes so how can we remotely access web of science from my home you need to take a user id and password from the librarian okay thank you sir ah uh, or uh, you have the library card yes sir then uh, the user name will be the your user uh, library card number and by default the password will be vvu123 okay sir okay. thank you okay thank you okay, for sir. all the research scholar uh, this information is for remote access uh, you take the library membership and if you get the membership your library card number will be the user name and the password will be vbu123 Okay. All will be in small. B B B U small. B B U small. B B U one two three. Excuse me, sir. Sir, web of science. You told that. Uh, excuse me, sir. Web of science. You told that we can access from E B U. Whether it is I P authenticated or we can have a uh, our uh, uh, access also, sir. No, sir. It is also the I P A I P authenticated as well as you can also access remotely. Okay, By remote access. User ID okay. and password. Okay, sir. Okay. If you are accessing the web of science from the campus, then your IP will be automatically identified and they will provide the access. Surely, sir. There is remote access also with the username and password. We can access. Yeah, by by accessing from the outside the campus, you need to have the remote access. Remote. Thank you, sir. Okay. Any more questions? No more questions, sir. No. Yeah.